police have stepped up their attack on organised crime gangs targeting their ill-gotten gains. And the federal government is also planning to hit criminals where it hurts. Drug barons making millions from importing cocaine and heroin have been the biggest losers when federal police move to seize crime assets. But the net's now widening. There's nothing criminals hate more than losing their money or losing their cars or their yachts or their mansions. This is what really scares criminals. Police are now targeting tax evaders, money launderers and people smugglers. These matching Rolls-Royce ghosts worth a million dollars each have been impounded. These vehicles have been seized under the Federal Proceeds of Crime Act, which provides that they can be forfeited to the Commonwealth if the owner's convicted or if there's a reasonable suspicion they're the proceeds of crime. They belong to Gold Coast property developer Michael Izakidis, who's facing fraud charges and has been hit with a court order seizing his luxury homes, plus a collection of cars and boats, total value $67 million. Last year, a federal police task force seized crime assets worth $40 million and they'll seize twice as much this year. The amount of money laundered in Australia is upwards of $12 billion. So we are dealing with a significant uh, black criminal economy within this country. Canberra's asking the states to help frame tough new national laws targeting unexplained wealth. And put the onus on the criminal to explain how they got that mansion or how they purchased that Ferrari and if they can't explain how they got it then we seize it off them. John Hill, 10 News. If ever